Hello. Um, this is a quick walkthrough of the interactive you guys are going to do during class. Um, this is mostly for the section that's not going to have me in it so that I can't be here to tell you useful things, but it may be helpful for everyone else to watch this, record it, you know, pay attention to it, and appreciate the meta-ness of having a video, watching a video, and uh, you know, make some notes so that you can carry on this experiment in, in a timely manner. So we are going to start moving to Newton's second law. Newton's second law is that the acceleration of a system looks like the net force on the system divided by the mass of the system. So, I'm not going to get too into the weeds on this. We're just going to look at a simple case where we have um, a turbine-powered glider pushing some fruit. So it's going to look something like this. We got a glider. We turn it on. We got a turbine going. You can kind of see this thing's wishful in here because there's, you know, air. And then it accelerates. Beautiful accelerating fruit. Yes? Yes. All right. What we want to be able to do is to determine the force, the acceleration, and the mass. So, you've got to ask yourself, which of these things can I measure? So, I'm going to look at the handy-dandy tools that we've got here. We have here a handy-dandy stopwatch, a handy-dandy force scale. This is, you know, it looks like a ruler, but it's set up, you can see in the tiny, super nearly invisible font, it's measuring force in newtons. So this is intended to be used, we zoom all the way back to the beginning, not to the beginning, I guess, a couple frames after the beginning. Do, do, do. Any day now, here we go. So it's intended to be used on this. And they're going to point this out to you, and I'm going to do the same thing. Right now, the fan's not on. If the fan's not on, then the force on the system is, think for a second, if you have stared at the giant zero on the screen and said zero, you are correct. So if I turn the fan on, if I advance this a couple frames forward, you'll see that the spring has now been extended. The extension of the spring is related to how much force is being exerted on it. So the more you pull a spring, the bigger it extends to. It's directly related to the force. So if we measure the extension, we measure the force, more or less. We also have one other ruler, and this one's a handy-dandy actual ruler, which, which we, with which we could measure handy-dandy positions or, as perhaps is more relevant, displacements. Now you might be thinking, huh, acceleration, didn't we spend a while talking about that? And things like time and displacement, aren't those things we talked about too? You would be absolutely correct. This is intended to be a constant force problem. If we go back and look at Newton's second law here, We'll talk about more. You've got a whole screencast dealing with this, but we're just kind of playing with the one idea of it. Newton's second law is telling us that the force, the force is constant, the acceleration is constant. We also assume the mass is constant, but unless someone's eating the fruit while this happens, that's probably going to be the case. So, we could determine the constant acceleration using our bevy of constant acceleration formulas. If we have all of those, and we can measure things like the initial velocity, the displacement, the time, we could calculate an acceleration. If we know an acceleration and a force, we could calculate a mass. And that is indeed the intent. So they're telling you the mass of the turbine glider, the mass of the red glider that's holding the payload, the apples. And what they want you to do is to use Newton's second law to determine the mass of the cart and the load. What I want you to do in your groups is to do this for all of the payloads. Apples, an eggplant, the big eggplant. I'm curious if the jelly beans are large or if the amount of jelly beans is large. Those look like normal sized jelly beans. So maybe it's the amount of jelly beans? Yeah, so amount of jelly beans, not the size of the jelly beans. And then a loaf of bread. I'm hungry now. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is what you're going to have to do during class. Carry out these uh, five things. Don't do it right now. Watch this video. Take some notes. Put these notes into OneNote on the page with the video. Um, and then do this in class. If you got questions, shoot me an email.